All right, what's up, guys? So, Unplugged has uploaded a video titled Karen's Who Got Instant Karma on Trains. Yeah, man, because, you know, Karen's, I mean, they, they don't just be in, like, you know, cul-de-sacs and, uh, you know, suburban areas. Nah, man, Karen's, they're, they're international. They, they just be, I honestly truly do believe that Karen's just be doing, like, world tours all across the world and stuff. Just going places just so they could get underneath people's skin just doing some old weird stuff. This video was funny. I remember this video. <laughs> I was like, that video had me cracking up because the way, or no, was it this one or was it? No, I think it was another one. I think it was another one, but the same guy, I think they recorded this video. He was just going up to this guy's car, just putting stickers on it. I think these guys are just weird though, but... Nah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. Guys, if you have not, make sure you go subscribe to Unplugged for more videos like this. And then that being said... You've seen Karens in parking lots and grocery stores and restaurants and on planes. But have you ever seen a Karen on a train? Today we have a whole bunch Sound like of a Dr. Karens Seuss causing book. havoc on trains. Let's dive right in. First up, Karen is having a fit on this train. Not even her hair can keep up with her rage. Which one of you is going to be a gentleman? Show me! Show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman! Show me! Are there no gentlemen left in this? Are there no ladies left in this world? They kids! Move out of the way! No, don't touch me! <laughs> this is what happens when you're being nice! Move! I have a right not to be touched! And you have the space to move! That's why I, you know, I, I highly encourage that you guys get yourself a pair of Samsung Galaxy earbuds. Um, These are the Pro 2s. Cancels out any unwanted noise i 100 percent would have just went put these earbuds in found like i don't know freaking some ac dc metallica some just something that's overall loud just so i don't have to hear her <laughs> like this woman she is wild so I, i'm guessing she's what she's mad that nobody's not offering her a seat and i'm like yeah if you're yelling like that in my face you're definitely not gonna get a seat you're standing the whole train ride get out of the way which one are you going to be a gentleman? I'm like, I, I, I guess, I guess I'm not a gentleman. I'm like, nah, man, like, I, that's something where I'm like, I always thought of that. Like, there, there have been times, like, where I've been in situations where people have looked at me and said those same things. And I'm like, oh, I, you know, you're not a gentleman. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, if that's, if that's going to be, you know, the topic of discussion, I'm, I'm not. You know, just me, like, if I, because it, it's, I, look, I'm going to be honest with you. People forget stuff. Not even just men. People. Everybody. Dogs, cats, hamsters, freaking birds. Bro, I'm pretty sure there's a time where birds forget that they're birds. You know, they never know. But it's like, my thing is this. If I'm going somewhere, right? Somebody's behind me and I don't clearly see them or something. If they're yelling like this in my ear about me not holding the door open or not moving seats, whatever. And it's like, bro. Yeah, if I'm thinking about it, I am. But if I'm not, then it's like... I mean, what what do you expect? It's like people, she act like she has never forgotten something in her life. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this day, the day this video came out, she most likely forgot her keys at home. Her car keys, and that's why she's having to take a train. Which one are you going to be a gentleman? Which one? Which one? You have the space to move by. Why? Why are you not moving? She is why? wild. Why are you not being a gentleman? Why? 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 The thing is, though, is that and I know people will probably be would tell me like, don't you don't always have to think something violent has to happen. True, true. I guarantee and I promise you, let's say if this would have been like some woman that was like a trained fighter or something, she's not going to be yelling in her face like that. She she's not. I, if it's a woman like twice her size, like like a WNBA basketball player that literally bench presses 270 for no reason, I, I guarantee, I promise you, she would not be yelling in her face like that. Unless she thought she was a man, but then once she had found out that um, she was a woman, then yeah, she, she would change that attitude real quick. But she knows that it's men, and she knows that like there ain't going to be no crazy guy on there that's going to like you know throw hands with her and stuff. But anyways, yeah, it's like people just... Leave others alone. Talk about talk your more so to her. Just just leave people alone. But anyway. Why are you not being a gentleman to me? What did I do to you that I caused you to not be a gentleman to me? I don't even know you. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm like you. you're right because I, I don't know you know either. You. Move out of the way. You want to go by? Look, you touch. Go ahead, Matt. Jealous That's Kevin wild. is hungry, but he doesn't have any <clears throat> food with him. He can't stand that another passenger is enjoying a burrito, so he's threatening to call the cops on him. Over a burrito? 
Yes, please. Can you get a policeman on board here? We got somebody dining in the first car. Wow. Number 356. Bro, it's like... He's dining, dining. Eating on the train? Eating wow. On the train. Bro, it's like if I'm... My thing is this. If it's the accessible area and I'm hungry, unless they say, like, no eating on the train, then I won't eat. If I don't see no signs, meaning, like, there isn't any signs, like, because I, I know if there's, like, I, I look for stuff like that. I always like to, like, you know, kind of, like, look around, observe, you know. I like to kind of investigate, you know, my surroundings and stuff. So I feel like a sign like that you're not going to miss because it, it's going to probably be in big, bold words somewhere, right? Either before you get on the train or at some point in time once you sit down. You're going to see it, okay? And let's say, like, okay, I don't see it and I'm eating. And it's, like, if somebody points it out, I'm like, oh, my bad thing. I didn't even realize realize that wrap my burrito up that if there ain't no signs and i'm allowed to eat on this train i'm like homie you gonna have to sit down okay please please just sit back down i'm like take take your sport um your dick sporting good shoes go sit back down in your seat bro point at him that's wild oh so I don't think I would have, I don't think I would have caught the cops, though, if, uh, cause, like, no, bro, I don't know how many times, I'm trying to think, do, uh, I think public buses, they have, like, um, stuff like that, and I know when I worked in Seattle, um, excuse me, um, no, I think they had, like, signs or, uh, where, like, no eating or whatever, bro, I'm like, I, if it came down between the two, you know, scenarios, I've been in scenarios where, uh, kids, like, literally having a fit on the bus, right, I'm trying to sleep. I can't. Kids sitting li like literally right there next to me having a fit, screaming, crying. I'm trying at the time I had no noise cancellation headphones. It was like some like straight up like some gaming headset headphones. So I'm hearing it all. And I'm having to hear that versus what? Smelling a burrito? Bro, I I I'm guarantee I and the thing was this. I worked at a when I worked in Seattle, I worked at a cafe. I worked at, it was like a cafe slash restaurant. So it was like it was kinda like a blend of both. But it was like, yeah, bro, I'm like I'm working around food. I don't think smelling some food on the bus is gonna stop me from sleeping. So let's weigh the scales here. Smelling a burrito or hearing a kid crying. I I, I think like if you got like if you have an allergic reaction to a burrito or maybe ingredients, then I can understand that. But if not that, it's like, yeah, having this level of like, you know, burrito like th or this reaction to burrito eating, yeah, bro. You you gonna have to go somewhere else with that. You must be stupid. I've seen people like you on TV. Wow. I'm like, was it? I'm like, was it world's dumbest criminals? I was like, no, my twin brother was on there at one point. I, I, bro, I'm telling you, when I say that I like to entertain stuff, I love to entertain stuff. <laughs> I'm saying, man. Yes. Just way too, like, people that be into rules like that, I'm saying, like, you should not be out in public. I right, look, I get there as a sign up, but it's like, bruh, it, it does. All right, so my thing is this. Let's say a cop comes in there, right? Cop's having a bad day, and he's sitting there fighting with the guy. They get into a tussle. Cop pulls a gun out, shoot, and kills the guy. That's gonna, you're the cause of that. You're the reason why that man lost his life. And now you have to sit there, see pic, not pictures, videos, and, you know, interviews. Because he watched, he, he, we know he watches TV. He said that. He said he's seen type of people like him on TV. And I'm saying, you turn the channel and you see that man's family crying because he was eating a burrito on the train. I'm saying, it's like, people, y'all can't be like that, like, for the rules and stuff. Y'all gonna have to let that stuff go. Selfish Karen doesn't want anyone sitting next to her on the train. Train. She decides to put her bag on the seat next to her. Wait until the cops come to deal with her. I've never had no issue like this before, um, you know, when I did work in Seattle. Because, no, for the most part, um, like, the buses, the bus that I would at least catch, because there were some buses where they would be full, like, to, you know, like, literally to the, like, like from back to the front of the bus, it will just be full. Like, there'd be sometimes it'd be standing room only. 
But, um, no, like, there is, uh, some buses where it just had, like, nobody, um, on them and stuff. So, yeah, I never had to worry about that. But I was never that person. Like, I, there would be at times where I just kind of have my backpack. But once I see the bus is getting full, no, like, no, my backpack was like a pillow, bro. Like, I just squeeze it, just lean forward, and I am asleep, bro. Like, I, I'm telling you. So, yeah, like, I, I never tripped about no stuff like this. Like, that's, that's crazy. No, there isn't. Standing room only. No, there's not. Ma'am, put it up there. I'm going to get you off the train right now. That's crazy. He said, he was all like, I'm, I'm not. He's like, I'm not. I'm not standing. That's. That's. Uh oh, somebody. Who, who the blue words? Blue words, mad. Wow. Oh, she is privileged. She got like one five hundred dollar check from her dad, and now she she thinks that she's like Bill Gates or something. I'm like, fam, you're you're on the train. You are on <laughs> the train. You don't have no Bentley, all right. You don't have no freaking what a Mercedes. You have a train ticket, <laughs> and you're going to your nine to five. <laughs> like, lady, <laughs> you're you're not who you think you are. Okay, I'm I'm sorry for putting your business out there, but I'm, I'm saying like you're come on now, like be realistic. Somebody about to get that seat. Dang, I'm not, I'm not trying to see, man. But I'm like, bro, like, go, like, go up or sideways, go up, other, like, you know. <laughs> it's like lady you're i thought i don't know why i thought that was a taser i'm like bro they're gonna I'm, they are they're like some grant that follow five cops i'm like she got one star and they already pulled the tasers out but no nah, like lady it's like you're you're on a public train that there ain't nothing personal or like no there there ain't no personals or no spaces it's like it that the public train is ready to eat for everybody so Oh, he had enough. He had enough. So she. Oh, she got. Oh, wow. Kevin threw some chicken at two women. This woman saw it all and is putting Kevin in his place. I didn't want to get mad. Who does that? He threw chicken. I'm sorry, y'all. Was it like strips or like, chicken wings or you something? Had to do that after. Like some you shut the up. chicken nuggets? Like if it's some chicken, like if it's some like McNugget, because like McNuggets are good. I'm not saying I would eat them because it came from his hand and he, so I, I'm not eating something that came from another person's hand. But um, like, I'm trying to think. If it's because Burger King, no, they're, they're, no, their chicken nuggets are good too. I'm trying to think. Who had bad chicken? No, was it Wendy's? No, Wendy's was good. Who had bad chicken nuggets? I'm trying to think. No, nah, like, because I think I remember when the Tyson chicken strips, they changed their ingredients. So, yeah, if, it, if it's like this, like, day and age of like the Tyson chicken strips, nah, you, yeah, you, you, that's going to be a problem. But I'm saying if it was like some like 2016, 2017, like Tyson chicken strips, I'm like, where's the rest of the bag? Where did you acquire that chicken so I can, you know, go out and get me a couple of bags? You know you dumb ass. You shut the f up. Cause you shouldn't have done nothing at them, you stupid ass. They wasn't even doing nothing to you. Why would you do something at them, you dumb ass? I wish I was So I could punch you in your f face. But I'm a female with your dick with my blue ass. Oh, she I is. God. You ain't even had to do that. Those were women. Disrespectful morons! I swear to God, you're not gonna punch me. You shouldn't have never been doing that. Shit. The females did not Look at his, like his face. 
he comes off as somebody that don't know how to fight. Dang, his head is pointy. It is like an arrow pointing straight up. It's like, I just, dang. You can, like, I'm trying to think, what could you balance on this man's head? Like, you know, you know what is those, like, one, it, it's like a long, like, type of hat and things. But, it, it, man, dang. Um, I'm trying, I can't think of the name of that hat. It ain't a bucket hat. Uh, but it, it's just, it, you can place, like, a, a perfectly sized hat on that head. Like, it's just, how's his head pointy like that? And it's just, bro, that's crazy. You, you that man, that man got, like, a skinless mohawk. Like, that's... Oh, period. Sit your dumb down. Don't do do So sit your down. Shut the up. Period. I'm not with you, bro, on that dumb The you mean? Out of here. Oh yeah, you could definitely tell they're in New York. You're that, yeah. You there's like just just how she ended that off. That now that was the actual period of what she just said. Like if you just pay attention to how New Yorkers talk, I'm like, yeah, she one hunch. Either she's from New York or they are in New York. Shut bum ass. Get them. You shut your mouth. You the one disrespecting women for what? For what? They didn't do nothing to you. What did they do? Sit down. And what did you do? Throw a chicken at me. Why? For what? Idiot. Shut your mouth. I don't gotta do shit. Why don't you make me shut my mouth? Did you go? Why don't you get the fuck up and make me? I want you to hit a black woman. Cause you can do that to them. But you sure ain't gonna hit me. Get out of here. I, I trust her. I, I honestly, I do believe that she would cause bodily harm to that man. Like that, that man, whatever that cart thing that he had, he gonna push that cart over and he's running for dear life. Just shut the all the way to Shut the all the way to You, well, why don't you do it? I'm right here. Why don't you do it? I'm right here. Either, either she's about that life where she knows that she could cause bodily harm to that man, or she knows people that could cause bodily harm to that man. Either way, that man's not winning. I'm right here. I'm right here. He, he might win the battle, but he's not. Whatever, however that war ends, he is not going to be there to see. That man, as soon as it starts, it's over with. And I want you to do it. I'm right here. And I want you to get up I think he's just right he's just doing that to upset her. Oh, he. Get out of here. I thought he about to throw some stuff. Like, don't do that to her. This man really eating? No. Hey, wait a second. No, no eating on the trains. <laughs> no eating on the trains. All right. And I want you to do so. And I don't I think he's saying. I think he's saying I'll punch you in your mouth. Like I don't think he's saying like shut your mouth. So he. I want you to get up and do so, sir. And I want you to get up, sir, and do so. I want you to get up and do so. You just mad because somebody told you about yourself. That's why. You'll be all right. Next, we have Karen losing her mind over the leg space on the train. Watch how she battles it out with the man in front of her. Being uh, quiet when you're talking and talk, to touch me again, I'll f slap you. You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. That's why you're not married, you idiot. No one will stand your stupid ass. Uh, Are you married? Are you married? Uh, Are you sure? Are you yeah, sure? Yeah. She's not cheating on you or anything. No, Are you sure? No, because she's a nah. really nice Yoruba lady. I'm pretty lady. sure she's nice. She's, she's Yoruba. Really nice Yoruba lady. She's Nigerian, yeah. so she, she's like, trust me. She's using your money. No, I don't think she's an idiot. Trust me, she doesn't love you. No, I'm Nigerian. I'm Nigerian. No, you're an wow. idiot. Like, you're an idiot. Like touch touch me again. I'll that's crazy You can you can tell he's he's just having the best time of his life right now. Despite this unfortunate situation that he's that he's in, he already knows he's just gonna go home, crack open like a cold bottle of water because he he don't come off as a man that drinks. But he he's probably gonna just oh like crack open a cold bottle of water, sit, kick the feet up, play video games, and that's his whole night. And yeah, of course, wife comes home. She's probably a gamer too. They probably just gonna sit and just play video games the whole night. Like this is his Friday. That man is living. 
living life right now. This man got two phones? Nah. He's about that life. Kevin is harassing a fellow passenger on the train. Little does he know who'll be waiting for him at the next stop. Oh, police? Ghostbusters? <clears throat> I'm like uh, the um, freaking general manager at Target. He kind of got like a Target outfit on. Like he looked like a fake Target worker. Like he'll knock on your door saying like, hi, we want to do like a Target survey. But he's really there trying to rob you or something. I'm like, bro, who are you? I'm like, Target is back that way. Target was like two, three stops ago. Like, why why is you still here? Uh oh. There you go. He's all like, don't touch it. <laughs> trip on a train. She's making everyone's lives miserable with her ridiculous antics. Big fat slob and you're touching me unnecessarily. You know what you're touching me. You're the one that sat your fat sloppy body down. Wow. Somebody handed her a card to like here here's like the nearest uh mental hospital. Like you go there. Love me to be a silent object. What a hell. Have a nice day. Keep your sarcasm to yourself. You're not very witty. <laughs> I'm not your doormat. <laughs> she don't know how to read? Why is she she is taking a long time looking at I don't that know note? One person hear anything. You just think that you have the right to disrespect me because I'm an attractive woman. <laughs> 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 that like that i'm saying like when i laugh like when you have a good laugh it hits you in your soul she literally just touched like she touched everybody's soul at the same time no i'm saying like she she instead of being a karen she gotta be a stand-up comedian like <laughs> I'm saying though, but these Karens, they're international. <laughs> they are dying right now. Look. Racists are like pests that can't be stopped. Karen's on a racist rant on the subway. It's shocking. Check it out. You like being called a right? That's because you act like B boy. All right? You act like a B boy. I said to stay the f away from me. I said. I, I never understood, like, when people, when they say things like that, like, when they, I, I get, like, they're trying to say it in a disrespectful, derogatory way, but it, it confuses me because I'm like, if people, it, it's a derogatory way of describing a black person, but yeah, overall, it's like, that's, that's like just one, like, key thing that I want people to know, like, when you get called the N-word, it's like, it's a disrespectful way of just somebody calling you black. So it's like, no, it, it, it like, I'm not I'm not trying to defend it. I'm not trying to say that it's right. I'm not, you know, anything about it. Like, it's, it, it will and always will be disrespectful, all right? It always will be. But that's why I'm like, in a situation like this, it's like, you have, you can't do anything else besides laugh at her. She's gonna be on YouTube. Her life is ruined. She's gonna try to get a job. People, I'm telling you, when stuff like this goes viral, it's over for them. So it's like, no, as soon as she said that, over for her. She could have just, she could have went on this rant without, like, saying anything racist or disrespectful. And, yeah, most likely she wouldn't have, like, you know, lost no jobs or anything. Probably the only job that she might be able to get is, you know, uh, let, let's just, she, let, let, let's just say that, you know, she, she's gonna be doing, like, some, uh, um, activities with Trump, all right, I'm, I'm not gonna get into details on what these activities are, but, you know, let, let's just say some grabbing <laughs> is gonna be involved, but that's the only job that she's gonna be good for, that's, that's about it, so, dang, wow, why is she so loud? What she gonna call it? If she if she calls him the N word, nah. This woman, she she's blind. It's like something, nah. She she got some stuff going on. Them glasses ain't real. So. Shut the fuck up. 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 Shut the f
I like I like how she said <laughs> she <laughs> she said she tried to like be like politically correct and stuff by saying the N word. But she still like actually said <laughs> the N This woman is so confusing, bruh. Sally, shut the up. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're fine. Your mental retardation. You're mentally retarded. Your mental retardation. Your mental retardation. I don't want to talk to you, Sally. Stay away from me. I, I'm assuming so like it she's referring to you know the the, the female part because I, I if they're censoring it I'm not gonna say it myself but like the I've never heard that's that's something I'm gonna have to like I, I'm gonna have to think because I I feel like you know 26 years of my life being black like my whole my whole life I feel like I've heard a lot of different races and derogatory names but that 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 one is new to me like no nah, i i huh all right I'm saying, like, if he wore like the uh, like the outfit that John Cena, he he could be. He's he see he seems like a super chill dude though. Like the the guy that came up from behind her and is trying to calm her down. He seem he seems like one of those guys where he he like in any situation possible, he's always there to de-escalate it. Like you like you'll travel the world, right? This man is nowhere to be seen. Out of nowhere, this man just pops up like a ninja, and he's just like, hey, just everybody, calm down, okay, calm. Just like, bro. You, you was like, I, I'm assuming like maybe they're in New York or something. I'm like, and let, let's just say like we're over in the UK. I'm like, bro, how did you, like, how is you over here de like de-escalating situations? Like, yeah, that, that, yeah, he, no, he is a peacemaker. That is all you are. And that is all you will ever be. And you know this, but you don't want to face the truth, right? You hate it when someone tells you the truth, right? Shut your f***ing life. Karen is messing with Hi. the wrong person on this train. She has no idea he's a cop, but she's about to find out. Real white guys will actually, like, they'll treat me right. White guys will treat me right. You, you just said if I, if I, if you have to be with the key home, that's f***ed up. No, I'm having a bad day, and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna let her suck my That's up. This, these guys, they're like, you know what, she's drunk, I'm not gonna mess he he's he got a front row seat to the best argument that he's heard in his like it's it's been at least like seven and a half years since he's had a moment like this and he's he's so happy for it fam who hurt you i'm like that i'm like it would, who who hurt you because take take your anger out on them i've done nothing i'm just going home okay like that's man people like no but people like her it, it's it's one of those things where i feel like she she is having an identity crisis because i'm like fam 
if her argument is like, you know, black men ain't whatever and stuff, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, whether man, woman, whatever you want to call it, we're all in that same group, okay? So it's like, please, don't forget your roots. I'm pretty sure we look deep down in a family tree. Yeah, me and her are probably some distant cousins, probably. But it, regardless, it doesn't change who we are so it's like you're talking as if like oh like you know like who who you are as a person because she's trying to make it seem like that she ain't black like she she's like this new age black like she a new generation of black fam you ain't no different than me you ain't no different than the two guys you talking to yeah you you might have like a kind of like of expired caramel complexion thing going on but at the end of the day Damn, you're still one of us. You ain't no different. So it's like, why? My thing is, where is this conversation leading you? Do you just you you just want to win an argument so bad? Like you'll just have this random argument with us just because you you want to win so badly. Bam, it ain't gonna change nothing. You're still us, okay? You're still us. You can say whatever you want to say about me. You can say whatever you want to say about the other dude. You can say whatever you want to say about all black men as a whole. It ain't gonna be no different. You're black, we're black, we're all black, okay? Like, I'm saying I changed up the lyrics a little bit to the Good Burger song, but I'm like, we we all we all black, okay? So, fam, you this argument, where is it leading you to? It's like you're pretty much, you're like, I, this is where your argument is going, all right? You're in a car, okay? You ain't got no wheels underneath, but you are just gassing it, okay? You're gassing up something that doesn't even go nowhere. So, like, bruh, I, where, like, again, where is this, where is this conversation leading you? They can laugh as much as they want, but there's still the a bug stop, on it. They 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 Parkland, Brooklyn Museum. Yeah, I'm not denying that. My point is, I am a, I accept that. I will be a No, she doesn't. Uh, what do you do, though? I'm younger than you. She doesn't accept I'm that. Nothing, I'm younger than you. What do you do? Okay, and she, she, the thing is, is this, all right, you know, there, there was a black male group <laughs> that came out, what was that uh, group again, was it uh, Pretty, Pretty Ricky, I think they made, they made like a song called Age Ain't Nothing But a Number, but like, fam, that, it, ain't that the truth, I'm like, I'm saying like, in a, in a uh, argument like this, yeah, that, that argument is valid, Age Ain't Nothing But a ar like, armor number i don't know what i was trying to say but anyway yeah you know i just I, I have my moments where words random words just come out and i'm not even trying to say that but no age ain't nothing but a number you can be fam you could be 19 you could be 30 you could be 70 you could be 90 if you want it there there should be nothing in this world stopping you from achieving goals and reaching accomplishments that it's like if you have been around people that haven't um, had those same accomplishments, or just regardless of whether you just want to do it yourself. It, it don't matter. It's like, bro, you could be at any given age and get your education. It don't matter. Even I've thought about, I'm 26 years old, and even I've thought about uh, wanting to go into uh, college and get, you know, just add more and stuff. You know, it's, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, you shouldn't allow people like her to, you know, stop you on some stuff because of your age. Like, it, it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, she she talked about she in school, but I'm like, you obviously haven't learned nothing. How old are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm 23 years old. Stop fucking lying. You're like 33. I'm 23. You're 23. Shut the fuck up. You're 23. 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 You're you went to a regular university. How many kids? Me. How many white would you be? It's a fact. How many white be? Shut the up. A fact of what? Yes, you. She is. Oh, okay. I oh, let me go. But it's like she's saying that it's like okay. Again, whoever in this world has hurt you, them, not me. We're two different people, but nah, let's let's see who's who's this voice, this purple voice. Do you even go to school? Yes, you I'll take you to jail. 
Yeah, <laughs> she believed that. That's why she was saying, like, anyways, she was all like, hmm, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that scene, <laughs> that scene. <laughs> that scene in Ride Along where uh, Kevin Hart, he was looking at, he was like approached those bikers and then there was that one where it was like iffy about um, the uh, woman being a man or a woman. He's like, maybe you are a woman. I was like, I don't know. That's, she had that moment. She was looking like, maybe you are a cop. I, I don't know, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume you are a cop. That's there funny. This guy is just trying to hold on to the pole for support, but Karen <coughs> isn't having it. She wants that arm gone. Oh, no, no, it's it's right no, it's not your business. I paid my fare. Okay? I'm like, fam, I paid my fare too. Look around. I don't give a around me. I care what's in front of me. Understand that? I'm not here for nobody else. I'm here for me. That's very obvious. Yes, and then move your arm please. I'm going to so it's not in front of my face. Oh, this she getting laughed at now. Are we getting pumped? Excuse me, move the arm. Now what's the problem? You waiting for what? For me to say the P L E A S E? Because I'm not gonna do it. I am holding on to the ball. Like it's Yeah. Yeah. Does she have tea? I'm like, ma'am, look, instead of, you know, worried about holding poles and stuff, I'm like, you, you need to, I'm saying, like, there's a party city up the street, and they got, like, those, like, those, like, chomper type teeth. I'm saying, you could probably get one of those for, like, $2.50. There you go. Okay. Racist Karen is at it again. She's trying to chase this man off the train. Who does oh. she think she is? Shut it. I'm like, I'm saying, you know, it's, it's, you know, I, the thing is, is that, you know, I, I want to be in situations like this just so I can roast a person beyond their existence. I'm trying to roast a person so badly to the point where they just, they fade away on some like Thanos type stuff. Like my roast just does that. And then they just slowly turn into dust. Cause I'm, I'm saying, I'm like, ma'am, you look like you got on a, a Lego hairstyle. You have no neck. Your torso looks longer than your legs. Like I'm saying you, and you probably did. It's that like that index toe that's probably longer than the big toe. I'm saying you walk like you don't have no knees. I'm saying, and then the teeth, your teeth look upside down. Like they just, I'm saying, like there's a lot. How does her nose line up? It just doesn't even look right. It looked like somebody like punched her in the mouth and they just flattened that whole part. Like, ma'am, you have like a Horton, here's a who like mustache area. I'm saying, there's like, and we can't see your eyebrows. It's like, lady, you're, I'm saying, you talk about this man being bald. I'm like, what, what you got going on underneath that wig? Like, I don't This is an Irish train. Yeah, because I'll put it on YouTube. Do! I will, yeah. Do a good job. Don't stay. Have you a problem as well, Ginger? Don't stay. I'll drop it. Do you want to get off the train? Do you? Because I call the conductor and I'll get you off. I paid for my seat. Okay, and? I paid for my seat. I paid for my seat. I don't care what you want. 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 That's crazy. Just love breaking the rules. Karen's being arrested for not wearing her mask on a train, but she isn't complying. She claims to have a medical exemption. Let's hear what the cop thinks about that. Okay, well then. I people, guess people was really going off about like not being able to wear a mask, and I'm like, bruh. 
I even though that they like declare, you know, COVID is no longer a serious threat, I still wear my mask everywhere I go. I see I I don't see not as many people, but I'll catch like some people here and there wearing their mask. I'm saying like if I could go three years wearing a mask, a small little train ride, okay, a small little train ride. You can wear your mask, okay? I'm saying it's what you're most likely going to be on the train a few minutes tops. All right, maybe a little bit longer. I really don't know. But it's like, fam, you can wear your mask throughout the duration of the time on the train. And me, 300, three, like seriously, 365 days, okay? Times three. That's how long I've been wearing the mask. I, I don't know the math. I can't do the math in my head. But anyways, it's like, what? That's probably like well over, a, yeah, that's well over a thousand days. I'm saying like, that's, that, it's just, it's crazy, man. There's, you know, it's just people out there that's wild like that. But anyways. You're going to have to find me because I have a medical I don't exemption. Find you. I don't so, find you and you're discriminating against I'm not me. I'm not causing any harm. I walked on and you chased up to me no, I and told to me that I have to wear a mask when yeah. I don't have to wear yeah. one. I cannot happen. wear a mask. Yeah, okay, I yeah, cannot I wear a mask, right and I'm just like heading home to Richmond where my car is. Like, all right, well, I have to ask you leave. Not, well, I'm not leaving. I'm sorry. I am not leaving. I have no other way of getting home. My car is in Richmond. Okay, so, and what that got to do with me? Up. It's all like, okay, go find a rich man to go into Richmond and get your Richmond car. And like, I don't care about that. You either wear a mask or you get off the train. One of the two. I don't care. But we ain't going to be going back and forth arguing. So put a mask on or I'm saying like, you're going to have to go. Because uh, it, it's it's one of those things. Where I'm like, I feel like in a situation like this, I'm going to lose my patience. I'm like, ma'am, you're either going to have to leave or you're going to have to put that mask on. We ain't going to be sitting here arguing. Do something. Okay, quick, quick. Because I'm saying you're going you're gonna to have to do something. Because I'm losing my patience right now in this video. I'm like, I'm going to have this video paused because I'm like, bruh, I, I feel like just too much time is going by where she don't have that mask on. I'm like, ma'am, put the mask on, okay? I'm sorry. That's crazy. I have a medic because I have a medical exemption. No I have my mask. card. Yes. I cannot I wear a mask. I do not want to argue with you. Yep. Because right now you are, you're not. You're supposed to wear a mask. Well, I'm sorry. I'm medically exempt. So what do you want me to do? I'm, I'm not, not getting off the train. No, I'm not, not, not getting off the train. Off. I'm sorry. So in that case, I'm really placing an arrest. No, you're not placing me under arrest. Yes, no, know. you're not. I'm not doing anything. I'm like, I don't see no Uno reverse card, so therefore, I'm like, nah, you under oh, arrest. You're the one who's coming up to me, harassing me. Okay, this is not okay. okay. Why don't you take your time to people that are actually committing crimes? Is the train moving or is it? Because I'm like, this man is standing perfectly still on a moving train. I'm like, no, this man, he. He, yeah. he literally is the creator of the Matrix. Like, no, this guy, he is not human. This is somebody that I would truly fear. Like, no, I'm saying if I was a criminal, right? And then, like, they're like, I just hear, like, freeze. If I see him, I'm giving up. I'm like, no, this this man is the Matrix. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I just, I, I, I know I'm not going to get anywhere. Like, he, he is the chosen one. Like, see this, guys? This is my medical exemption card. And this officer here is harassing me on the bus. Even though I have a legal medical exemption and I have one for my job. Because I, I feel like, you know, trains, like, they, don't they, like, kind of, like, move a little bit? Like, I, I've never, I haven't been on too many trains, but I feel like trains, they kind of move a little bit. And he's just, he's standing there, like, just still. I'm, nah, that man, he's not human. They're at my home as well. Okay. Like this, this man, he, he would like, no, he was like, I'm saying this man was a government experiment. They went right. And they just say, you know what? We're just going to have him as a super cop. Like he is literally RoboCop. No, you're not placing me under arrest. No, you're not. And don't you dare put your hands on me. You're scared of COVID, but you'll put your hands on me, right? You're so terrified of COVID, but yet you're willing to put like, your hands on Like, ma'am, I got a mask on, on and gloves. So a mother can't get home to see her daughter. This man's yep. dog aren't bothering anyone, but Karen has a problem with them. She wants them off this train. Dog has to be in a dog area. What? You cannot have a dog like Look, the dog even yeah. looked like <laughs> he's like, fam, who is she talking to? I know she ain't talking to me like that. Like, <laughs> even the dog is confused. I know, I'm saying, like, how's it hurting you? 
You know how many times I've been on the bus where they people it they've I was like, bro, I'm saying I feel like every time I've been on the um bus, it's always been a big dog. It's never been no small dog like that. I have never seen a small dog like that on the bus. Train like I just I've never I haven't been on too many trains, but I'm just saying like always. But bro, I'm like I don't care. That type of stuff. I'm like, look, as long as this like the dog people whoever if they ain't bothering me, I'm not going to bother them. When I get on buses, trains, it's like the times where I have been on trains. But, no, when I get on those things, I'm like, bro, I'm seriously, I'm listening to my music. I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting to go to my location. That's all that I care about. Nothing else. Dogs all like this one was crazy, bro. Here's our last Karen for today. This little racist is caught on camera harassing a guy on the train. Luckily, these guys are calling her out for her bad behavior. I'm Carry on recording me no. because I don't care. I'll, I'll no, no, no. Step, I look, step back. Step back. Step Cool. You don't know me. I don't know. You. I don't give a f about that. But at the end of the day, I'm like, ma'am, back I up. I, 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 I don't know why you're getting Larry. I don't know why you're getting Larry. I don't know why you're getting Larry. I am. I don't give a f Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, look, look at you. Look at you. You should have so much more self-respect for yourself. You're picking on a guy, making a lot of noise, chatting so much. Yeah, I'm you're like, lady, treat your behave like one. A lady, you're a lady, behave like one. You're a lady. I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Been in the situation where she had got roasted. I'm like, ma'am, you look like you're trying out for Victoria's Secret, but you look more like Victor's Secret. I'm like, get out of my face. Like, just please leave me alone. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying some things that's gonna have a person cry. Like. I'm like, you look like a light skinned Chris Tucker. Like, please leave. Yeah. <laughs> like I it's just I'm telling you, man, there's there's just at times when people they just need they just need to get roasted like one time, and I'm telling you, it, it eliminates any confrontations that they would have with anybody else in the future. Alright, so but anyways, yeah, that was a pretty wild video. Make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to unplug for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.